it's basically a sort of PR exercise that fermentation needs to overcome somehow. It's almost like we need to come up with better words to describe what's going on. And I think actually you're pretty good at this. In your book, you say that uh, microbes are the midwife to flavor. Yeah. I love that. That's absolutely brilliant because this is exactly what it is. There's sort of companions that you can use to liberate these flavors and deliver them to us. And I think more of that sort of natural, easy to digest language is necessary in the space. Yeah, you know, Sandor Katz calls it the war, the war on germs. And, you know, the, the historical context is important to understand it, which is that, you know, about 100 years ago, we realized that there were these, you know, small things. And we also realized that they were killing lots of people. You know, you'd have surgeons and they wouldn't wash their hands. And so we, 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 the, the world saw, oh, there's these tiny things. They're causing lots of the diseases. And they started remedying some of those things. So it's it's understandable why there was such a um, strong push against like you know the these things already some of them are the bad guys and we need to like exterminate them to you know stay safe but we now understand them much better we understand that there are many 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 more times um you know neutral or, or benevolent ones than there are malevolent ones and we need to yeah do that pr job on kind of embracing our microbes uh, just that simple fact that you are um you know, you're covered in, in trillions of these things and they are protecting you and they make you, you know, they literally make you who you are and we share our lives with them. I've heard it said that we are composed more of microbial cells than we are human cells. Is there any truth in that? Yeah, I mean, it's basically it's broadly true. So, you know, the, the reason that might sound like really odd and almost impossible, but it's you have to bear in mind that our, um, lots of those microbial cells will be single cell organisms, which are teeny tiny and smaller than human cells. But there are um, arguably yeah, more non-U cells in and on you than there are, you know, U cells. The lines between you and not you start to blur at that point, don't they? Yeah.